Warning, I look crusty in this video. Okay, so welcome back to my channel, guys. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my morning routine and my night routine, starting with the morning. I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I wake up. So usually in the morning, I just rinse my face with warm water. I don't wash my face because I feel like it doesn't really help my face isn't dirty when I wake up in the morning because I washed it the night before. So I usually don't wash my face. I just rinse it with warm water and I use a toner after washing my face. And my favorite toner is the Thayer's Peach Witch Hazel Astringent. It is the best one. It smells awesome. It doesn't have any alcohol in it. It's really nice and it helps cleanse my skin enough, but it doesn't strip my face of any of the oils or anything that accumulated overnight so after that I wash my teeth wow really I brush my teeth with Arm & Hammer's advanced white toothpaste love this stuff it has baking soda in it so it helps to whiten your teeth but for teeth whitening I like to use oil pulling and if you haven't heard of oil pulling it's basically just a natural way to pull the impurities out of your mouth using oil so Coco White has oil pulling packets basically you just push it into your mouth and you swash it around for about five to 10 minutes. I like to moisturize my face and fix my hair while I do this, but if it's just like a mouthwash, it helps to brighten your teeth, freshen your breath, all of that normal stuff. But it also helps to pull impurities out of your mouth that can cause bad breath. It can also cause headaches and allergies and sinuses and um, breakouts and things like that. So oil pulling is a really great natural way to keep your mouth clean and free from impurities. So after fixing my hair and all that stuff, I spit this cocoa white out because it doesn't really taste all that great. And then I'm done. This is me with my makeup. I had done a video that day and I'm just going to use my Yes 2 Cucumbers face wipes and I'm just going to wipe off all of my makeup, all of it. I never go to bed with any makeup on my face. Obviously that's not very wise. And I just use the wipes to gently wipe off all of my makeup. Now for my mascara, I like to let it sit on my eyelashes for about five to 10 seconds, depending on how much I put on that day. It kind of just helps to loosen up the product so that you're not pulling your eyelashes out when you're removing your mascara. And I wipe all of my makeup off. And then I like to tie my hair back before I wash my face so that I don't get it wet. And when I'm tying my hair down, guys, it's nothing fancy. I just kind of just wrap it in the back. My hair isn't long enough for me to wrap my hair all the way around, so I just tie it down with my silk scarf. And once I've done that, I like to get to washing my face. So I use my Glam Glow Super Cleanse Daily Treatment Cleanser. This is a mud to foam cleanser, so I use it like a mud mask, but then I wash it off afterwards. So I just apply that to my skin generously in an even coat and I kind of massage it in and work it into my skin. My face is not wet or anything while I'm doing this. I'm just kind of putting it on like a mask. And then while I'm in the shower, I let that kind of penetrate my skin and get all of those impurities out of my pores. You know what I'm saying? And I love this face wash because it really helps minimize my pores and to clarify my skin. So while I'm in the shower, I like to use Dr. Bronner's soap. I've told you guys millions of times about Dr. Bronner's. I love this soap. I use it for like a million things, but I love it for my body because it's all natural and it doesn't break me out. I also love the European Wax Center Slow It Body Wash to exfoliate my private areas that I get waxed. <laughs> and I also like to use Moroccan Argan Oil as an in-shower oil. I put it on while my skin is still wet and then I dry off afterwards because it helps to moisturize my skin a lot. And I like to use Ingrown Hair Serum for you know what. And I use my Shea Moisture Body Lotion after I am dry because it helps to smooth and firm my skin. It just smells amazing and it's really great quality body cream. And I also like to put on deodorant. Okay, so fast forwarding. This is going really fast guys. Oh my God, I can't keep up. So now I'm washing my face, okay? And I am just rinsing this product off while I'm kind of working it into my skin. Before I wash it off though, sometimes I like to add a little bit of exfoliant. So I'll add my Clarice charcoal exfoliant to it just to give an even more deep clean and get off some of that dead skin. And I like to use my tea tree toner by The Body Shop. This stuff is amazing. I've told you guys about this before in my previous skincare video, but if you don't know, it's really great for acne prone skin and oily skin. I love it. 
I'm also using vitamin C serum, which helps with anti-aging, even though I'm not aging, but it just helps to brighten your skin and repair it and all of that stuff. It's really great for repairing. If you have a lot of dark spots, vitamin C works great for it. But what I love for dark spots, and I swear by this, is my 5% glycolic acid cream by Reviva. Love this stuff. It helps so much with exfoliating and renewing your skin cells and getting rid of those dark marks faster. I have not tried anything else that works as good as this. I also use my Miracle Worker um, Anti-Aging Moisturizer by Philosophy. Love this stuff. It's really great. It feels really great on my skin. I usually use an oil because I love putting oil on my face after I wash my face it helps to moisturize but this stuff works great too I pat it into my skin and that's pretty much it after that I'm done so if you guys have any questions please let me know I will put all the information in the description box and I will talk to you guys in my next video love you guys bye